Megan Rapino has responded to Draymond Green's recent comments saying, quote, it's really unfortunate in the position that he's in, having all of the resources that he has and the ability to have a much more educated opinion that he just hasn't. I'm Madeline Burke for Sports Illustrated here with SI's Ben Pickman and Wilton Jackson. And guys, Draymond recently posted a series of tweets voicing his opinion on the state of women's sports and tagging multiple WNBA stars, saying in part that the argument for equal pay can't be made while revenue is less than men's. Uh, Wilton, Rapino says she hasn't spoken just of equal pay, but also the level of investment and media coverage in women's sports. What do you make of her comments? You're absolutely right, Madeline. And I think she's very valid in her comments. Um, I was brought up with the advice given that if you don't have anything valid to say, then you shouldn't really say anything at all. And when I think of Draymond's arguments, it makes you wonder, has he been hiding in a dark basement over the last couple of years or not watching what's been going on in the world? Players like Rapino have been fighting for higher pay and even wage gaps and diversity in sports for quite some time now. So this is nothing new. And it's going into her point. It's going to take other people beyond those who are facing the disparities to make the change. And when I think about that in terms of the way she um, discussed the media publicity for women's sports, when I think about this, ESPN reported that 4.1 million people watched the 2021 Women's Basketball Championship game. And not to mention, there were increases in the Final Four viewership, Sweet 16, um, as well as just the tournament in general. So when I think of this, it's going to take pushing the envelope like, it, like you know, some people did for the NCAA tournament and to get other women, um, get other people to see that women are definitely as valuable as athletes as men are. I mean, Title IX was pushed along over 30 years ago, and that was coming along with the intention of making men's and women's sports equal, but we're still quite far from that. As you mentioned, Wilt, in the tournament, there was a visible lack of differences of funding for women's sports, that weight room disparity that we all saw on social media. Um, and Jennifer Palmieri recently reporting that, according to Muffet McGraw, the position in charge of women's basketball at the NCAA reports to the person leading men's basketball. So in that kind of a structure, how would you expect women's basketball not to be looked at as a JV team? And to Megan Rapinoe's point, there needs to be overarching changes in women's sports. But Ben, when you look at this, what do you make of it? I mean, just to add one more study, USC and Purdue University recently came out with another study showing the discrepancies in coverage between women's and men's sports that I highly recommend people checking out. And on Rapino's comments to Draymond Green, I'd also push, you know, to check out Neko Gumake of the LA Sparks, her comments on this. And she really dove deep into the ideas of miseducation and ignorance. And she had, I think, a really profound look as to what, um, what those terms mean in this context, right? And I think both a lot of these athletes, both the ones we just mentioned, but also younger players in the WNBA have really commented and pushed back on Green's notions as well. The one other thing I'd say is that the onus is definitely on us more broadly as members of sports media to watch some of these games, right, and really cover these athletes in the way that they deserve. Just to cite some examples, the NWSL, their Challenge Cup kicks off this weekend. On Thursday morning, the WNBA released a whole set of new jerseys that I highly recommend people checking out. The draft for the WNBA is next week, and there's a whole number of storylines and players worth learning about and, and reading about and watching that event. So, you know, we can talk this talk, but as there is some onus on us to really cover them in the way that they deserve and take an interest in them in a way that they deserve as well. Absolutely. And the WNBA is still a very young league just in its 25th season. But as we see these rising stars in this tournament, that was just an incredible women's NCAA basketball tournament. Paige Beckers, Aaliyah Boston, all these young stars on their way up and coming into this league. The future of women's basketball and women's sports as a whole is bright. And I think it's time we all start paying more attention.